Hey Taurus, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. I hope you're doing good. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. Let's see what is coming up for you and what you need to hear, Taurus, right? Diving in. There's a journey ahead, Taurus. Interesting. We have some departure here happening. I see you getting rid of something. Okay. Taurus. Action. Amazing. This is the chariot energy. I see number eight here with the 17 number card. A lot of activity coming your way. For some of you, um, wow. Cornucopia energy. This is the card of wealth, abundance, fruits of your labor, and very happy changes ahead. Wow. Okay hostility somebody is agitated about something though we're going to see who is this person coming towards you cornucopia is the card where i feel that some activity is required on your part some action is required on your part you're heading towards abundance you're heading towards an amazing result of something that you have done but something uh, it's like the last bridge has to be crossed or that last tunnel has to be crossed. Something requires your action and the result of your action is going to be carnicopia, right? This this abundance energy. Wow. Interesting. We're going to see what Tara has to say. There's somebody who's a little hostile uh, uh, around you. We're going to see what this person wants to say. Overall, it's a good energy. Some activity coming your way. For some of you, I see... Uh, universe is telling you that a lot of rewards of your effort of your hard work is coming in so it's better you keep going it's better you buckle up your shoes and you keep going running right okay so Taurus a lot of action Taurus a lot of action I can sense heat I can I can sense heat here so we have ten of wands there's a and see somebody angry hostile somebody who has some logic little unemotional this person is saying something we're going to say what we're going to see what's that for some of you uh, taurus i see you're doing a lot of work there's a lot of pressure over your head ace of cups is there so a potential new start heading your way but anyway ten of wands is showing me that you're doing so much work you feel burdened for some of you this is baggage in the journey card also i saw some baggage around you but I felt that you're just letting it go and you're not focusing that way there but that is in the upcoming days right now I see you might be carrying some baggage which is heavy heavy duty energy working too much working multiple shifts for some of you the, if there's a relationship I see you carrying some load surrounding a relationship which you're not talking about right now right meanwhile there's somebody who is agitated Gemini Libra Aquarius energy this can be your partner your manager boss somebody who's important somebody who is uh, expecting a response this person is a little unemotional right now and for some of you they're agitated about something probably uh, you're not looking towards them that's the reason why they're so angry because i see you are you know hiding your face behind this workload uh, for some of you you're intentionally doing too much work you're carrying the baggage because you don't want to face something and for the rest of you you just don't have time <laughs> But for some of you, I'm do, uh, I do get this vibe that you, you're not willing to open up to something because um, you reserve your doubts. There's resistance in your energies. And this resistance is somehow uh, resulting in a lot of agitation for this person. They want a fresh start probably. There's a, new, there's a new offer here. For some of you in your environment, I see there's a potential start. Somebody is offering you... Um, new love or something it's just an offer you accept it or not that's your call Aries Leo Sat somebody is super attracted to you this person is passionate confident and they're pushing forward something which probably you're not ready for I see a lot of um, fire in this person's energy Sagittarius energy Aries Leo strong Sag energy here <clears throat> for some of you you might be dealing with Leo 
if you are a Taurus male, I see you agitated about something and you're not opening up to a proposal or a confession of love. There's a fire sign around you who is really, really interested, right? And if you're a Taurus female, there's somebody who's angry because you're not opening up. So both ways you can see how it resonates. Moving forward, Taurus, let's quickly see what next is coming up for you in this situation. Ow, oh, Ace of Cups is here. Amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, four of wands and the devil is here. Holy. Okay. Now, this can be ego. This can be obsession. This can be narcissism. But for a lot of you, I see this energy as feeling blocked and chained a little bit, right? There's, a, there's an offer of a relationship. If you are not married, if you're not in a relationship, I see potential new start here waiting for you. For the rest of you, I see there's something stopping you from moving towards a stable connection if you're already in a connection you might be experiencing a lot of um, activity a lot of action in a relationship there's there's an offer taurus doesn't matter you're single or not somebody uh, if you are not single i see this person is not aware of your relationship status or this is somebody who wants to bring in emotional satisfaction in your connection because i see in your love matters things are really turning stable Right. So if you are in a relationship, I see the connection turning really stable. But there's something hidden around that scenario. Uh, we're going to clarify what is this devil energy. It can be a Capricorn you're dealing with. But I, I want to know what is this devil energy because things appear real positive. For some of you, you were having some doubts opening up to this connection or this offer or this opportunity. You in the beginning might feel that this is stable. I was just, you know i was just not looking at the brighter side but there is something which your intuition was telling you that you have to resist you have to hold back from and i see that's that's surfacing this week that energy is surfacing this week somebody is very guarded here they're trying to stay independent i see this person tried reaching out to you but uh, they're going through a lot of transformation for some of you the transformation is telling this person to just stay aloof for some time I do see this energy unfolding in the next four weeks, four of wands energy. Over the next four weeks, one month energy, things can really unfold in front of you. For some of you, things overall appear very beautiful, but there's something which probably you're not sharing with anybody, but your intuition is telling you that you have to stay away from that. We're going to see what's the devil energy here. What near future holds for Taurus in this situation? Wow. There's an important choice to be made in love, Taurus. If you're already in a relationship, I see your connection requires some decisions. And if you're not in a relationship, I see two proposals or two people in your surroundings and you have to make the decision. I see strong, sad energy. Sagittarius is showing up very strong in your reading. This person is defensive, guarded. In the near future, as we proceed towards the end of this reading, I feel that there is a choice that has to be made right <clears throat> for some of you the reason why somebody is agitated because you are doing too much work and you're not focusing towards the connection you're not opening up to the connection and this is causing so much anger on somebody's mind other way around you are agitated about some aspects of this relationship on one hand it's very beautiful stable loving overly emotional sometimes and sometimes you sense that negativity in the connection so what are you going to do you have to make a decision here right for some of you i see there is somebody entering the scenes there there are i get the influence of third party for some of you there's a playerish energy in your surroundings third party energy possible devil with the knight of wands definitely third party energy possible and in the near future as the outcome i see you stepping back for some time to analyze the whole dynamic of this connection now, for a lot of you, I'm just getting a vibe that there are two people, right? Try right, Taurus, there are two people, not one. So, let's see what Tara has to say. Let's clarify a few cards. But one connection is appearing beautiful and the other one is full of, um, I don't know, drama. There's somebody who is non-committal in this scenario, Taurus. Or there's something that you don't want people to know. We're going to clarify. What is this King of Swords energy? What is this anger, agitation? Maybe on your mind, maybe somebody you're dealing with. 
King of Wands. Somebody is very passionate about you and if you're ignoring this person, this person is going crazy, right? If you are ignoring somebody, if you're holding back, if you're resisting the connection with somebody, specifically if this person is a fire sign, this person is super agitated. Death, yeah. For some of you, it's like they want transformation here. They're, they're looking for transformation. They're looking for a new beginning. For some of you, if this is the same connection, you don't have multiple parties, I see somebody wants to open up more in the connection. They see you very closed off and resistant. You might even be avoiding something out of work, you know? It's like you're telling somebody that I'm busy, I'm working, but in reality, you're just neglecting something. Ace of Cups is a, a call, a, a kind of, you know, expression that I want more emotional fulfillment in this connection. I want more expression. I want more emotions. This is probably coming from the other side. I see in the beginning things are really turning positive and you're spending time with this person. You're accepting that. But then devil showing up at this point is a matter of concern. What is this devil? The fool the three of cups and the hermit for some of you you're, you're just stepping away from the toxicity there's something for some of you this can be a situation where there's an ex or there's a third party there's a very controlling energy in your surroundings which is you know continuously trying to spoil your current energy i see you stepping away from that energy three of cups for some of you yes devil with the third, three of cups is the third party energy but again if it is that way i see it is on your part and if it is not on your part i don't see it happening because Hermit with this energy is showing me that your understanding is soul searching that some things have to be turned down. This is not somebody you're dealing with. This is, I guess, your energy, right? And Wheel of Fortune under the deck is giving me a very positive vibe. I see that uh, you're taking a leap of faith away from the third party situation or third party influence or any negativity, narcissism or toxicity or ego in your surroundings. You're, se you're stepping away from that energy because you can see this happening, this beautiful energy coming your way. For some of you, whatever new is starting here, you're spending time there. You are, it's like the hermit energy is showing me that you're growing there. That energy that you're stepping away from is going to take a toll over your emotions for some time. But again, lovers is showing me that it's divinely guided, so just go with the flow. What is this? Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in very passionately in Temperance. Okay, Page of Wands. It's a lot of Sag and Fire Sign energy here. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, and Ten of Swords energy at the end. We have Eight of Wands, Two of Wands energy also here. Taurus, you're deciding, you're making a decision, specifically if this is love energy, I see you making a decision to end something. Something that has been really toxic in your life, something that has been really draining in your life, you're deciding that this is something that has to end. Because honestly, I see so good energies coming towards you. Action, some action is required in order to wind that up, right? Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords is the energy where there's an agitated reaction coming your way, but eventually it's dying out, right? So if you decide to tell somebody that, dude, it's over, that has been very toxic, and I think it, it's time to just bring the change in the connection or simply end the connection, whatever direction the situation is heading. I'm just telling you multiple storylines. The toxicity has to end. I see somebody's understanding that one person has to give up on the toxicity so that this can flourish ace of cups lovers can flourish so yeah love is there a lot of love a lot of abundance is there but some action is required in this situation right and i see with the full energy you're, doing, you're going to take that action so eight of spring this communication coming in stress that comes from having many things happening at once Successful multitasking, sudden events or changes. And I see you've been carrying some load and finally you're dropping the burden here with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Five of Spring, same conflict. Opposing goals arising from different opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. <laughs> yeah, Devil is showing me that something is at conflict here and you're deciding to take a leap of faith away from it. So this is a very positive vibe in this reading. And eventually, I see that the connection, if this connection has to survive, some things have to be 
uh, given up on. I think you're understanding that. And you would, with the Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords, that is exactly what you're doing, right? Time to breathe out. For some of you, you need a break. Maybe that uh, temperance energy is the energy where you're stepping back from the whole scenario for some time to get into the hermit mode and analyze some things at the deeper level. Your commitment is being tested, Taurus. Okay, what is the situation about what Taurus needs to hear in this situation? To the sea, moving forward. Again, you know, despite of so much love, despite of so good things being promised to you in the future, there's something which is causing a trouble in your surroundings. And I see this is surrounding somebody who is agitated and causing little trouble to you, right? Go the distance again. To the sea is movement. Go the distance, movement. Eight of Wands is movement. Knight of Wands is movement. Action is movement. A lot of cards are showing me that you cannot stay stuck in a situation if you want a fresh start in your life. Universe is pushing you to move forward and take action. Go the distance. Walk a mile. You're going to find the answers there, right, Taurus? Wow. If you want this abundance, now again, universe is uh, giving this on your part. Universe is telling you that if you want success here, this is spiritual connection. If you want success in that energy, you will have to do some work, right? This is coming up very strong. You will have to do some work. Taurus, something on your part, your commitment to something is tested. Outside environment is going to be a little too harsh, right? I'm, I'm getting that vibe. You might not find that right support. But your commitment to something is being tested here. We have be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So be in the present, dream of the future. And one thing I, I'm, I'm getting here that, that I want to add here is that dream of the future and if you have dreams take action again uh, action towards them be the fool take the leap of faith we have back to what you love reevaluate your desires now taurus um what would you do if universe sometime if one day you get a dream that universe is telling you whatever you desire for you're going to get it provided you take action for it so it's like your luck is supporting you, universe is supporting you, the ball is in your court, are you going to take action for that? That's the message in this reading, that's the crux of this reading. Are you ready to take action, right? Because I see a lot of activity coming towards you. And if you're ready for that, if you're ready for this abundance, you will have to buckle up your shoes, right? So that's exactly what I'm getting for you in this reading. Taurus, thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.